Hello to all of my Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Leos. Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Happy Midweek Wednesday. This reading is for... This reading is for the 25th of October through the 25th of November. You may be watching it on the 24th, right? So let's get into it. We're trying to get you prepared for this full moon that's coming up. That's right, the full moon. I have questions for you in the moon in Aries, right? So King of Wands, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups. So you may be watching this video when the moon is in Pisces moving into Aries. So this is preparing you for the moon in Aries, right? So that you don't get overwhelmed with your emotions. You're like, okay, that Aries in me is going to help me just like, you know, uh, take some kind of action in a positive direction to, um, you know. So anyway, here we have the King of Wands. Speaking of fire energy, you Aries and Sagittarius are fire signs. You already know, know that by now. Here we have the King of Wands. Here we have the Page of Wands. So I'm just trying to cook up something really nice for you. Knight of Wands. Eight of Wands. So here's what Source is offering somebody. Here we have the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> and also the Eight of Cups, right? What Source is offering somebody, instead of getting angry to a point of burnout about a situation, as Source keeps trying to tell you to leave behind, Source is saying to you, the more air you add to it, air would be talking. The more you're overthinking something, even in pain, right? The more you're burning yourself out to a point of just exhaustion. So the downside to burnout is you're looking for somebody to put that flame out, right? And so we know that all clear water is not, you know, it looks clear is not, is not going to put that flame out. So if you're around toxic energies, it could be like vodka, clear vodka that somebody's pouring on your flames and make you just explode, like have an implosion. Now I'm, I'm around toxic energy. I'm even more angry and frustrated, right? Or if you are engaging in, in spirits, right? So we know there's alcohol, we have wine and spirits. We also have being around toxic types of spirits, people, places, and things, being in toxic environments. You have all of these fire ideas that's going to make you a lot of money. What would, what would blowtorching a situation do for you? It may give somebody instant, like this instant gratification. Now I feel a little, I just feel a little bit better. That kind of calmed my fire down a little bit. But in a big scheme of things, you just burned your money. You just burn your um, you just burn your reputation. This is a backdraft. You just burn everything that you work so hard for. So source is saying for some people, they feel like, okay, I'll risk it all and I guess I'll just deal with the consequences on the back end. But the other side of that is you don't know how far that's gonna throw you into a karmic cycle how that's going to mess up something. Source is giving you a sweet deal on the table here. Source is saying to you, the sooner you can get away from negative ideas about people you feel like burned you, burned you out, left you in a state of confusion, you know, woke up this, this lion in you, the sooner you can physically get away from them, stop talking about them, shut conversations down with people who keep trying to talk about them. The sooner you can do that, Source is going to speed it up for you. Speed up whatever it is you've been asking about. Here we have the eight of cups. See, the, the dark side of the number eight, I'm going to keep saying this until people understand there's a light and dark side to all energy, all energy, people, places, and things. The dark side of the number eight is when a person feels passive, they've succumbed to passive and powerless behavior. I guess I can't do anything about it, but sit here and just be frustrated and mad, right? Right? Or a person who is forceful, egotistical, and materialistic. I'm going to force something to happen. You can't force source. That will backfire on you and you'll be, you could be sitting in that for years. Oh my God. I, I thought, uh, I, I just pushed myself further back from my throne. So source is saying, here's eight cups of water. <laughs> Sit yourself down somewhere and be in receiving mode of what you feel blessed and highly favored about. 
write out a list and keep saying it over and over and over again. Calm yourself down. That's what Source is saying to you. Eight of Cups. Have a good cry if you need to. But say, I'm ready to step to the other side. So this is Ace, one. And we also have eight, which was nine. Source is saying to you, the dark side of the number nine is a person who is resentful. I cannot move past this. The light side of the number nine is death rebirth. Something has ended. I'm stepping on the rebirth side. I'm getting back to me. I'm a person that usually get along with people. I like, I'm, a, I'm a high vibrating Leo. I'm about, to, I'm about to turn up and live my absolute best life. I'm trying to help somebody not, not land on that dark side because those karmic cycles, you don't know how long you're going to be in those karmic cycles. And that would be a shame and a scandal for real. Like to be in a karmic cycle and feel like everything is just going wrong in my life. Why in the world is all of this happening where you have no choice but to cry out to source? So the moon being in Aries, moving towards Aries, Aries is moved, uh, ruled by Mars. This is why you got to be real careful, Leos. Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars is the planet of action and assertion, but it's also the planet of competition. It's the planet of survival. You are not in a wilderness. You are not in survival mode. Come out of that mindset. You're more powerful than that. This is, it's also the planet of anger, sexual drive, capacity for action, a fighting spirit, energy, vitality, and also conflict. Somebody is in their spirit right now at a point of burnout. Sources like, that's right. Let that fire, that anger, just, just go somewhere quiet. Be in receiving mode. Get near a river, a stream, a lake. Drink some water. Watch a movie with water in the background, an ocean in the background. Turn on some chakra cleansing music, anything. Turn on some music where there's water sounds in the background. Hop around in a circle, shadow box. Do cartwheels, backflips. Go to a playground. You know what I'm saying? Like go to an amusement park. That's what I meant to say, an amusement park. And get on your favorite childhood rides. If that's something you like to do. If you like to roller skate, go do something that nurtures your spirit to get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out of your spirit. Get it out of your spirit because Source is trying to speed up some blessings to you. So, I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to shine a light on some things here. I want you all to be wealthy. I want you all to be out here living your absolute best life for real. I want you out here. I want every person that tunes into my channel. I don't care if you're cruising by. I don't care whether you like my channel or not. I'm on my mission to try to help people. And that's it. That's all that matters. That's how source rewards me. So I'm trying to help you to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. Somebody has, um, somebody is going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. I see sources cooking up an increase at work on somebody's job. I see somebody possibly moving into um, a new house or something like source has a blessing for somebody. And so, and somebody is still like, I felt like I was burnt. I see victory for you. I see somebody back in the saddle again, back in the spotlight again for good reason. And Source is going to speed up something for you. Here we have the two of swords. Source says, take those blindfolds off because if you got on blindfolds and you got sword, you come across as very defensive. And two is a relationship number. People won't, won't want to be in relationship with you in, in a, a partnership in a relationship in a in a business relationship, in a romantic relationship, friendship, they won't want to be in relation with you because you're sitting there with your sword, your guards up. Somebody give you a compliment. Oh, you being shady. A compliment. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> you know, the source is saying, so you can see the blessings coming your way. Source also wants you to stop focusing on the things that didn't work out. The things that didn't work out and focus on your blessings. Here we have the, these two cups right here. So we got the eight of cups and we got two of cups right here. These two full cups right here. Ten is the number for instant manifestation. Be very careful of what you say out of your mouth. Here we have the page of cups. So some fresh water, some fresh creativity is coming across your path. It could be this video. It could be a good friend that says something. It could be your spouse that's saying to you here, you know, you're emotionally dehydrated. This is frustrating you here. Some fresh water. Let's go do something fun. Be grateful for those people in your life. 
Be grateful for those people that come in when you feel so burned out and stressed out. It's like having a hug from, you know, from your kids for some people. You know, you feel like, okay, after a hard day's work, I'm so stressed out. Or if you don't have children, your dogs or your cats could be your kids. They don't want anything from you except for you to meow back. <laughs> or, you know, the dog is running around in circles. They're so happy, tail wagging so hard. They just want to lick your face. They just want you to pick them up. It's like that, right? So something, source is sending you some fresh water to kind of calm some things down in somebody's spirit, right? It's okay to cry. That's just releasing those toxins. Make sure you got some water sitting next to you. Here we have the King of Cups. Source is trying to make somebody a lot wiser, you know, after a situation, you know, after something that's to completely burn somebody out. So stay focused, stay laser focused, stay laser focused, stay laser focused. Stay laser focused. For somebody, um, for somebody um, who could have been in a romantic relationship with somebody, even if source allows you to come back together with that person, I'm not talking about if you're married, I'm not talking to you, or if you've decided, hey, I'm never going back to an ex, forget all of that. I'm not talking about that. I'm not, never going back to that job, forget all of that. But I'm telling you, if source allows you and somebody to come back together and something hasn't changed in your spirit and something hasn't changed in their spirit, it's going to be a complete disaster. You're throwing each other into a karmic cycle. So source is definitely merciful enough to know that somebody's heart is broken. Somebody is sad about something. Some, something has to, since this is your reading, something has to change in you. Don't worry about what's changing in them. Something has to change in you. This is where ego has to just be dropped, kicked right out of your universe. This is bringing somebody to some serious humility. We don't have control over other people. Here we have the death card. Here we have the four of swords. We have the five of swords, the six of pentacles, the page of, the page of cups, and also the knight of pentacles. So... Five and two is seven. The bright, the light side of number seven is saying, okay, source is the one that's making it make sense because I'm sitting myself down somewhere. I may have on blindfolds and my guards are up right now but tears could be racing down my face and source is downloading information into me. Source is making it make sense because I've intentionally got by myself and let, let source make it make sense. The dark side of number seven would be a person is, I don't understand why people don't get it. I don't understand why people don't know what my heart, how my heart, how good my heart is. You're not trying to make them understand. You're not trying to manipulate somebody. You're not walking out the house with a neon t-shirt on that says, hi, I have a good heart or hi, I have a big heart. Just be good hearted, <laughs> right? So that's what Source is trying to get somebody to do is sit down somewhere and really be in receiving mode so you can take those blindfolds off so you can see the blessings that's coming your way and get your rest. Number four, in your rest, the light side of the number four Leos is a person who knows that they are the, the uh, divine being of light who's having a human experience. That's what's happening. You are having another human experience. Right, We all have human experiences until we go to the upper room, <laughs> wherever that is, right? So, but the dark side of the number four is a person who says, is my way or the highway. They are so rigid. It's like a person who, in this case right here, since we have sword energy, has fallen on their own sword. Horrible place to be in. So, Source wants you to, this death rebirth card right here is... I'm going through a rebirth. I'm not going to sit here mourning something. I know this is happening for me. It's not happening to me. Continue working very hard on yourself. Some kind of an approval for money is coming across somebody's path. Wherever the approval is coming from, you could be looking for it over here. That's why I said take off the blindfolds and get your rest. You could be looking for an approval over here and it could be coming this way. And if you still got on blindfolds and you can't even see how close you are to some kind of an approval for money coming across your path that you've been working hard on, something had to happen for somebody to learn how to use their fire responsibly. Page of Cups. Page of Cups came out twice. Two situations in particular, sources saying... 
something good is coming your way. But so take the blindfolds off. Don't mess up the relationships of people around you by just being, I'm just, I can't stop talking about it. I don't know why I can't just stop. Stop yourself. Go do something else. Go do something nice, kind for yourself. Go get a manicure, pedicure, go get a haircut. You know, love up on yourself. Talk lovingly to yourself. This is a time where you are shining so bright that I don't care if somebody's like, oh, Leo is all about self. Yes, self-care. <laughs> right? Self-care. So, you know, two things are happening. You know, two things of like fresh water is coming across somebody's path, like some creative ideas are coming across somebody's path. That's going to really help you. That's going to really help you for somebody. It could be a new and exuberant love coming across your path for somebody, you know, some, some message could come across your path that maybe somebody else, um, you know, has moved on to kind of give you some, I can go ahead and put closure to this finally now. However, the good news comes across your path. Go with the flow. We're talking about water here. Go with the flow and let it calm down your fire a little bit, right? First question for the moon in Aries is, are you struggling with low self-worth? These questions are for everybody. Second question is, are you procrastinating, perhaps stuck in a relationship or a situation at home or at work that you're not happy with? Third question is, are you repressing your emotions and feelings and consequently feeling resentful? Fourth question, are you holding yourself back paralyzed in unconscious fear that stops you from taking the leap into the unknown? And then last but not least is, are if you known that you are fully supported, what would you do? So it's just trying to tell you, don't burn out the people around you that love you because you're focusing on who you feel was narcissistic, who you feel caused you has low self to cause you to have low self esteem, or you feel like somebody burned you, burned you out, that you're unclear about a situation. This is where somebody's gonna have to. This faith has to kick in. You see, the death card is the only card right here. Your major arcana right now. Source is trying to help somebody to put an end to something. Um, the number nine is the death rebirth number. The light side of the number nine is a person who is ready for a rebirth. Somebody who doesn't exhaust themselves by talking about how manipulative some people are and, you know, how, you know, how toxic some people are, you know, or they don't engage necessarily in codependent relationships. This rebirth for you is helping you to understand now I know my clairvoyance is sharper my psychic abilities are sharper. I have more power um, when I use my fire responsibly and when I use my water responsibly, right? So that's what I'm seeing for somebody so far. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here in your cards. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Yeah, something is something is over. Like something is when we talk about death, like something is final. Something is over. And source is saying, you know, victory is yours. Something is over. So source wants you to exist in that space. Ace of Cups, King of Wands, we have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and also the Three of Swords. Yeah. Six of um the six of pentacles came out twice. Source is giving you double money for something that somebody went through. And maybe that may make somebody feel better, but I can tell you money money is a uh money is energy. And so if you don't know how to circulate wealth, like use your time wisely, it's gonna burn right through it. Source is taking you to financial independence financial independence. So you're going to have to learn how to be conservative. Number four, divine being of light who's having a human experience. Because if you stay in this is my way or the highway type of energy, you're going to burn right through this financial independence. Just trying to tell you, I'm reading the cards upright and in reverse. So it's just saying, learn how to protect your emotions. Learn how to protect your emotions. Learn how to calm down is what Source is trying to tell somebody. Learn how to calm down. Here we have the Three of Swords. 
some kind of heartbreaking disappointment, so learn how to heal, forgive, forgive yourself for letting yourself get to a point of burnout. It's just I can't move past this. Here we have the King of Wands because in that there are people who are trying to pull you back into this right here. We have the King of Wands and the King of um, somebody is trying to pull you back into a wilderness situation. It's like somebody left their post and said, "Okay, now I'm back on my throne, and I can see the I can see things differently now. I see things a lot differently now." So this is the King of Ideas, like the King of Fire. And um, I'm, I'm seeing things through a different lens now. So about two situations, seeing things very differently now than I saw before. So I'm changing my ideas about some situations from negative to positive. I'm seeing things very differently now. So intentionally being in that feminine energy is very, very powerful. It's very powerful. So source is saying balance it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have, um, and that number seven, obviously, very powerful number. The number seven on the dark side of it is a person who feels like, why don't people understand this? Why don't people get it? So I'm going to keep talking about it until I make people understand, right? How hard, I, how I feel, how this affected me, how the manipulation, the burn, how this affected me, right? As if people don't get it and they don't understand. But Source is saying to you, I'm trying to add a deeper dimension of understanding and understanding and an overstanding to this so that you'll move differently moving forward. So when you won't think somebody got, you got played in the past. That's what Source is trying to tell, trying to teach somebody. Take off the blindfold so I can show you what's really going on. All of this fire right here lets me know that somebody is still in their ego. And you're a fire sign and that fire will consume you. And so Source is saying, I'm trying to send some good news your way, but somebody is just like, I can't see anything else. All I can see is red. Like I'm just flaming hot mad. Like flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> like flaming hot Cheetos. Source is trying to send somebody some good news. Like I said, somebody's getting some kind of increase in their business. It could be you and your significant other. All of a sudden, sales are taking off. Now you got more money to do more things. You know, it could be, you know, you got an increase at work. Your significant other could have an increase at work. It's two, two for two here. So you're very close to achieving your goal. Very close to achieving your goal. So... Be in receiving mode of what Source is trying to tell you. Some kind of blessing, double blessing is coming across somebody's path. A lot of people are so preoccupied, and I'm not saying this, you know, like subliminally, I'm just saying in general, right? So even if my cross watchers are watching. Think about the times, uh, Leos, that you may have been so preoccupied with something else that you couldn't even fully be in the moment to enjoy some good news. That's almost like a person that says, yeah, I did get a raise, but it wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be. What? Well, you could have asked for more. Now I know I should have just asked for more, but I, I, it's still not enough. That's like, a, that's like a backhanded thank you to source. So learn how to be in the moment. Here we have 18, dance. Somebody's definitely going to be dancing to a different tune, you know, feeling recharged and reset, you know, very, very happy. So stay focused, stay laser, laser, laser focused. Source is working on everybody involved in whatever situation and things are actually working out for you. And um, somebody can't see it right now because somebody is in this microwave way of thinking. I need to see it now. What, when is it going to happen? When? I need an actual date. When is it going to happen? Source is like, okay. You're about to let your fire consume you. Put a manhole cover over the past and focus on your blessings. Sit down, put together a list of things. And start speaking some things into existence that don't involve other people. This is just all about you. I'm grateful that I'm breathing. I'm grateful that I can walk. I'm grateful that I'm in my right mind. I'm grateful that if I, I have my parents or I don't have my parents and they're guardian angels. I'm grateful for, you know, I'm grateful that... 
whatever, I'm, whatever you're grateful for. I don't want to plant any more seeds, but whatever you're grateful for. But you're, you're going through an awakening right now. Oh, Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. That's it right there. Somebody's going through an awakening. So about a lot of things that's happening. And if you could just quiet yourselves, I'm serious. If you could just quiet yourself, it's going to be like, oh, my gosh, I don't know why. Why was I in such a rush to think certain things? Again, the only card in your major arcana is the death card. Here we have cow number seven. May the embrace of all that is nurturing you awaken in all that you are becoming. This brings me back to... Um, that number five. The light side of the number five is somebody is really ready for change. Um, the dark side of the number five is a person who just can't move beyond some kind of change that's happening in your life. And that being bullheaded and stubborn um, can create um, can create vengeance. It can, it can make a person feel vain that it's all about. They can't see anything else. Um, it can be a person who is... Uh, a person who is not at peace with themselves. So I'm going to disrupt other people's peace, right? So see how this per this this cow is wearing all this growth around this cow, right? You even have uh, bees and you can look up the symbolism of bees, spiritual symbolism of bees around there. There's a lot of growth in you. This is an opportunity for growth in you, an opportunity of growth around you. Uh, Leo's so that you're not stuck in the middle of a situation. We talk about numbers one through nine. You're not landing on the dark side of the number five. You're on the bright, the light side of the number five saying I'm being pulled uh, towards my focus, my future. I'm intentionally landing on the bright side of the number five and not on the dark side where I'm in, I'm in a wilderness situation. I'm lost. I'm unsure about the outcome of things. I don't know. Source is saying, change how you talk, what energy you send out to the universe. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. Let's pull a number card and let's uh, pull an affirmation card and let's go ahead and close it out. Number card, affirmation card, and close it out. The end result of things is going to make somebody very, very happy. But I'm telling you, if that ego pops out like, I knew I was going to win. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew this is okay. I'm trying to help somebody. <laughs> You, somebody's having an awakening, and I'm telling you, you don't want to throw yourself into a karmic cycle. 16, I am perceptive. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share the benefit, ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. Also, approval for more money coming across your path can also mean that you're also not paying out as much as you were paying before. Let's say, for instance, somebody was paying child support and you were paying a whole bunch of money. That can also mean that there is, um, you know, a judge could rule that, okay, that baby doesn't need $40,000 for lunch every week, every month, right? I'm not trying to be funny when I'm saying this. I'm just saying there's also uh, wealth in your pocket. There's an approval for money coming your way. So... Um, and I'm talking to men and women. It, it could, like I said, it's a lot of things that's happening for you, a lot of good things. And that's what Source wants you to be grateful for the blessings in your life and not give so much attention to the burdens in your life. If somebody haven't figured it out by now, it's really how, what energy you put out to the universe, your divine masculine sign and divine masculine sign are senders. What messages are send, you sending to the universe that's coming back to you, that's hurting you? That's what I have for you, um, Leos. Um, like I said, hopefully those questions for the moon in Aries as we're getting closer and closer to this full moon is going to really help somebody because we're going to have a full moon in Taurus and Taurus is a, the symbol is a bull and, if some, and it's a fixed sign, it's an earth sign. If somebody gets bullheaded and stuck in that energy and Taurus is ruled by um, Venus, Venus, <laughs> Venus is the planet of love, pleasure, 
um, art, music, aesthetics, erotic love, sexual desires. It's a very peacemaking sign when it's on the light side of Venus. Remember, there's a light and dark side to everything. The dark side of Venus can be very vengeful and quite vain, right? And I'm going to bust up everything in here like a bull in a china closet until I make a statement. So it's just like, don't mess up your relationships around you because you frustrated by something else that's going on in your life. And then when you come to yourself and like that bull, you see how, you know, those, those bull rings and how everybody is like scattered and, and nobody wants to be around you. That's the downside. Like I said, I'm reading the cards for you upright and in reverse. So it's just trying to help somebody. Don't mess up the relationships with people who love you and that's there. Here we have affirmations for relationships. I am surrounded. Again, this is the energy you're putting out to the universe. You can say it, put it out, say it. I am surrounded by healthy, happy, peaceful people. I attract healthy relationships. I speak my truth. I listen to understand another's truth. I am grateful for the genuine love in my life. I am supported by those who reveal my best qualities. I give love and receive love. I release attachment to all against my highest good, including all of negative thinking about stuff, right? So yeah, that's what I have for you, Leos. Like I said before, somebody will be very happy, but remember time is relative. So depending on how you're responding to things right now, you can throw yourself into a cycle that could last for many years. Try to keep your vibrations high. I'm serious. I'm not joking about any part of this reading. Try to keep your vibrations high through whatever it is you're going through and whoever you feel like calls something because that's what speeds it up for you, okay? That's what I have for you, and I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.